course is not unusual to the flexible budgeting is more important in flexible budgeting than the fixed budgeting so it means that we need to identify that the how it is important than the fixed budget and how it is more unusual in the case of requirement main differences of flexible budget is it is prepared for range of activity instead of a single activity it provides a dynamic basis for comparisons of courses it is automatically related to the changes in volume now methods of flexible budgets first is formula method that is ratio method it is also known as budget allowance method in that the two things are there first is before the period begins in case of the period begins budget for a normal level of activity to be identified segregate into a fixed and variable cost and compute the variable cost per unit of activity and b second at the end of the period there are few things one ascertain the actual activity then the compute the variable cost allowed for the different level add the fixed cost to give the budget cost allowance so this is what all about the first method second method is multi activity method this method involves computing a budget for every major level of activity that means it would be considered in the different different type of major activity to be included in this budget when the actual level of activity is known the allowed cost is found interpolating and between the budgets of activity levels on either side that is a second method and the third method is graphic method in this method estimates of budgets are presented in graphics so in that sense the total cost has been actually divided into a fixed variable and semi variable cost so these are the methods for flexible budget this is a format of a flexible budget we already discussed earlier that is the format of a cash budget now this is a format of a flexible budget and the flexible budget is generally prepared in the case of a costing structure so the total cost has been divided into a various part and the according to the cost structure has been compared with the capacity utilizations of the firm so how much capacity utilization of the firm is carried in the firm that is maybe a past years maybe a present and maybe the future state of their capacity and on the basis of that three parameters they would be identified their cost and divided as per the respected cost centers and find out what would be the situation as per their flexible budget see here i'm just telling a brief idea about the format of flexible budget so that would be very much comfortable for you at the time of when we are going to solve the problems regarding this particular topic so here the whole cost has been divided into a three part the first part is prime cost that means the cost which are incurred directly for the manufacturing of a product which incurred three major important expenses one is a direct material then the direct labor and the direct expenses so all the three cost would be considered under the heading of prime cost and recorded as per the different different capacity utilization making a total that is a answer one that is a part one now the second part is the identified the variable overheads which are actually a part of a manufacturing cost directly in that case the sum amount of maintenance and repair uh, repairs expenses indirect labor indirect materials factory overheads uh, admin overheads selling and distribution overheads but these are the variable overheads so all variable overheads to be identified and segregated from the fixed cost and after the segregation from the fixed cost would be recorded under the heading of variable cost as per the different different capacity utilizations and making a total of that category that total is b now we would be find out the marginal cost the marginal cost it means the total amount of variable cost the total of a and b it's your marginal cost now that marginal cost is going to compare with the sales and find out the valuation of contribution c so the contribution can be find out with the comparison of sales minus marginal cost and that contribution you can determine from this calculation 
after you got a contribution then identified the fixed cost when you were segregated at the time of a factory admin and selling and distribution overheads so segregated from it and that fixed cost you identified on the basis of factory admin and selling and distribution write down after the contribution and after the contribution you make a total of that fixed cost deducted from the contribution then your last answer would be profit or loss so in this regard at last you may be receive the profit or loss in the case of different different capacity utilization so this is what all about a part of a format of flexible budget now here classification so far as concerned the last classification there are four different type of budgetary system one is a long term budget these budgets are prepared on the basis of long term projections and portray the long range planning then the another is short term budget in this budget the forecast and planning are given for a shorter duration in respect of only the operational part of the business where the frequently change and taking a decision immediately in the business third is current budgets these budgets cover a very short period because of its existing positions current positions maybe only a fortnight or maybe a quarter or maximum a one year then the rolling budget a few company follow the practices of preparing a rolling and progressive budget also so this is what all about the classification of budget now the moving to the main thing that is master budget master budget is a review budget which combines all the functional budgets and it may take the form of financial statements at the end of budgetary period or at the end of a specific period so the master budget it covers all the functional budgets and the prepared for the specific duration it is also called the operational and operating budget it embraces the impact of both operating decisions as well as the financial decision a master budget becomes a principal document for the operations of the industry during the period it covers a master budget is an annual profit plan which may be broken into a month or quarters here as a result of a master budget then a statement of a company operating policy for the budget period is very much concerned a budget profit or loss account for the budget period and balance sheet at the end of the period is also very much concerned for the master budget some merits of the master budget is a review of all the functional budget in the specific form is available only in one report that is in master budget and it presents an overall profit positions of the organization for the budget so master budget is concerned overall situation of the organization moving to the next is performance budgeting it terms was used for the first time in the united states by the hoover commission the term performance implies results outputs a performance budget is one which presents the purpose and objectives for which the funds are required the cost of the programs and the tasks proposed for achieving this of those objectives and quantitative data measuring and accomplishments and work performed under the program this is what all about the performance budgeting thus performance budgeting is a technique of presenting budget for cost and revenue in terms of functions but then the consideration is that any type of uh, programs and activities are correlating for the physical and financial aspects this is what all about a performance budgeting next is zero base budgeting zero base budgeting refers a nil budget that means zero base budget its starting point that is nil it starts with the presumption that the budget for the next period is zero it means that when you start the budget at least you have an idea when we are starting its starting is zero until the demand for a function process 
or a project is not justified for a single penny. In effect, each manager or functional head is required to carry out cost-benefit analysis of each of the activity under his control and for which he is responsible. The method of zero-based budgeting suggests that the business should not only make decision about the proposed new programs but it should also regularly review the suitability of existing programs. Its approaches of preparing a budget is called incremental budgeting since the budget process is concerned mainly with the increase or changes in operation that are likely to occur during the budget period. Some definitions are given. Zero-based budgeting is management tool which provides a systematic method for evaluating all operations and programs. Current or new allows of all budgets, reductions and the expansions in a rational manner and allows reallocation of resources from low to high priority programs. In that sense, there is an effect budgeting system within the enterprise. Because of the programs has been designed in the business, the preparations in the uh, preparations of the related programs also doing in the business, we identified the expectations. According to the expectations, we may be reallocated the requirements and then the sources have to be designed on the basis of all this. So managers can develop quantitative measurements for the use in performance evaluation. So this is all about a part of a zero-based budgeting. It means that diverted from low priority to high priority suggestions. Here moving to the last point that is budget reports is actually an analysis of the budgeting part at the end of the particular task or at the end of the particular period. So ascertaining a budget in itself of a no use unless there is a constant flow of a budget reports showing an assessment of an actual and the budgeted figures. It should be prepared at a regular intervals like every month, every quarter or if it is required every fortnight also or in the case of every week also. So in that case the sum essentials of the budget reports to be necessary to discuss here. The budget report should be simple, appropriate and understandable for all the concerned people or all the concerned uh, employees. The report should be presented in time. The report should be precise, however, its accuracy should be the, at the cost of clarity and the amount of the principle of exemptions should be utilized at the time of a requirement as possible. 